Here we go, back at it again with yet another Madden 18 gameplay. Hopefully you guys are having yourself a good day. Uh, we're about to jump right into an online game. We are one game away from the Super Bowl, so uh, we are in our divisional conference game. Excuse me. We win that, we go on ahead and move on. So hopefully we can uh, be able to accomplish that. Last game was rough. Definitely had a lot of, uh, could have done a lot of things better. Blocking was absolutely terrible for me. Hopefully that is not an issue this game. So uh, let's jump right into it. One game away from the Super Bowl. Let's see if we can make that happen. See you beautiful bastards out on the field. All right. So that is all. Again, it's just, it's uh, it's weekend league time. So most of the people with the good squads are uh, not on regular ultimate team. So that's always a good time for you guys to, uh, if you definitely are frustrated with going up against good teams and stuff like that, uh, weekend is definitely a great time for you to go on ahead and uh, try to cram in as many games uh, as you can because, again, most of the people with super teams are out here playing weekend league and, uh, you know, they're not touching ultimate teams. So you definitely want to try and take advantage of that because we all know there's so many people out here with monster teams uh, like this guy facing me. He's like, why the hell isn't this homo playing Weekend League? Like, oh, he's cursing me out. And I should be playing Weekend League, except I'm a YouTuber and I'm trying to get this material one time. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Wow. Wow. I'm the reason? Just me specifically, huh? Just me specifically. I'm the reason. No other reason whatsoever. Like, if I didn't exist, if Nelson Lee Rabbi Stroke Marrero just didn't exist, there would be no such thing as microtransactions. That hurt my heart, man. That's, like, one of the most ridiculous messages I've ever gotten. I've gotten some wild ones. <laughs> I'm the reason. I mean, uh, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, Vicarelli. Vicarelli. It's just like that. He going dab on him, dab on him. He's probably not happy. You know, let's uh, let's send him a message. Oh, he sent another message. He's he's not happy. He's he's not happy. He does not like me. And I'm a nice guy. Of pay to win. That was stick skills, man. I have. I mean, uh, holy, whenever I get out of my dashboard or I hit the middle button, it's extremely laggy. How did he, yo, this man, this man is the devil himself. How did he send me a message and still control his guy? That was the computer. That was him controlling that. Oh, <laughs> well, he's, a, oh my goodness, man. How is he sending messages? You pray to Benj uh, I'm not sure where, where he's going with that, but okay. Anyways, we'll, don't worry about the messages. Okay, that's a nice little pass. Try to bait him into the uh, throw over the middle. Oh, good job, Houston. Uh, Push him backwards and then make the tackle. I like it. Ooh, he ran the ball, huh? Ooh, that's a good dot. Cool, good stiff arm, too. I don't know why I read play action on that and didn't attack. Thank you. Come again. I mean, buying bundles don't got nothing to do with you making a bad read and getting beaded. I mean, Mike Vick just going to do Michael Vick-like things. All right. I, I, can, I can sense, though, like, I always, you know, let folks or, you know, tell people. Like, you can tell, like, if somebody has skill, like, right away. You know, you already know if you're in for a hell game, 
you know if you're at about the same skill level, you know if you're better than him or if he's slightly above you. Uh, by his offense last drive, I, I can tell, you know, he's, he's got, you know, kind of knows what he's doing. He's definitely, uh, you know, against me, you know, limited, you know, via, you know, the, the, the matchup. But he actually had a good, what, what, what do you want there, buddy? What do you want there, Julius? Ready to take possession here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This it wasn't blitzing. I was using him the whole way. It certainly does. In that, I mean, that that was. I, I wasn't blitzing. That was that was a cover four. How is he typing so fast and sending so many messages? I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet. Prescott looks to throw on first. He's going to float this one. Overthrown. Oh, great, great, great block shed right there. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's taken down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. He's going to sling this. Looking for his tight end, Witten, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 30. And this is what he's always had. And that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. <laughs> back to throw. Caught left side. It's back up. Not really sure what defense that was. That oh crossfire. Okay, that the left side was just wide open. He must have put that purple and on the left and blitzed them or something. There are some things you know. I don't want to sit here and and you know I tell you guys all the, all the time. I'm good. You know, not a great player. Far from it. Uh, but there are some things that you know. Uh, I have no control over it wasn't really skill like the way Lawrence Taylor blew up that toss that's you know I didn't expect the toss I didn't you know game plan for it he just threw it like you know little things like that that you know that's obviously the team just you know putting in work good play like he's got some good reads I, I can see it he blocked everybody, and we still got in. I sent five, and I think he blocked seven. Maybe even eight. He might have only had, you know, two routes on the field. No, we read that, baby boy. That right there. That right there was adjustments. I've stuck in the cloud flat the entire time. Cover two, uh, Tampa two, the cloud flat for about five plays in a row. That time, though, we went up to cover two sink, which is a squat flat instead of a cloud flat over there. And he did a route combination to try and break the cloud flat, but he threw right into the squat. So that right there is just pure adjustments. All over your face. I feel like I'm going to get disconnected at some point. Because, you know, somebody probably would have quit already. I feel like he's on a mission. And I'm going to get disconnected. I don't know why. I don't know why. You must not realize we got hard flats out there. Now, okay, maybe he does realize we got hard flats out there. Good play. It's a bamboo! Woo! Vic out here three for three? Vic out here throwing McDoddingtons? That, that definitely held a... Ah, he used it. Good run stuff. All right, so it looks like he's he's just gonna stick it on out, play the entire game. So next time we get the ball, we're just going to chew clock and try and uh, waste as much time as possible here. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. 
you know what they say, man. You could drink. I mean, you can you can lead a horde a uh, uh, a hoarder. You can you can lead a horse to water, but you shouldn't kick a dead horse, right? That's exactly what they say. I think he's blocking a lot of people. I think he's nervous. No, he actually didn't block a lot of people. Woo! Perfect time to have a hard flat out there. We like to call that in the industry a dig pick. Over, over analyzing, you know, over trying to bait. You know, the previous play was a screen. Uh, he went back with the same motion. You know, obviously trying to give the illusion of it's like, yeah, similar play. If you'll see the first time he did the play where Night Train destroyed him with the big hit, you know, I actually followed the running back. The second time didn't even budge, didn't even uh, just stayed, stood my ground in the middle. Expecting it to be a different play. Ooh, hell of a play right there. Uh, Allen. Oh, he almost snagged that. I think I should just be able to rush straight up, right? I mean, look look at all the... Ah, I should have hit him with the precision juke. I think I'd have got by him. I didn't realize he came out in... <laughs> I'm over here on my computer switching my tabs because as, as I... um As I'm recording gameplay for you guys, I always have, like, um, my uh, stream open. You know, I watch... As I'm playing, you know, as I have time in between plays and whatnot, I'll go on ahead and just gain her at the stream. So I was uh, opening up another tab, and I didn't realize he was in field goal, I mean, a uh, pump block until too late. If I did, I would have just <laughs> audible to a pass and hiked the damn ball, but I noticed too late. That should have been me. I should have been there. Just stuck on the D line. What a perfect time to sit here and call like a cover two. You know, he had a uh, he, hit, he had like four verticals, expecting like the blitz. Gave him the same look, but just didn't uh, didn't blitz anybody. And he had nothing but streaks on the field. Stay in bounds, Vic! You go. Yo, whoever that was blocking on the left side held and sealed that block for so damn long. It was a thing of art. That was beautiful. Is that Antonio Brown? Who, like, was blocking for so long over there? Uh, let, let's just take some knees here. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. All right, so we're going to go on ahead and uh, get this uh, victory here. Definitely had some good blocking this game. So all I asked for, man, the previous game, my blocking was terrible, man. Like, I couldn't get any good blocking. This game was, uh, you know, not the case there. Blocking was really, really, really well. Uh, he made some... Uh, 
At first, he had some good reads. He had some dots. But then, you know, uh, just seemed like he really just got frustrated early. And we, we took advantage of that. Because his first few drives, I could tell the dots were there. The reads were there. After that interception with Ray Lewis and after after that, it, it just went downhill. And I'm the same type of player, too. Um, if my uh, assessment is correct, of course, that once frustration kicks in, you know, the ability to uh, remain calm, level-headed, and be able to keep your composure, it just goes out the window. If I fumble in a tough spot or if I drop a pick or just anything that just doesn't go my way and I get frustrated, it, it always carries over into my play selection, my uh, my ability to, you know, just play the game uh, effectively. So that'll do it for Charles Davis. The rest of our crew we had six turnovers. He had 31 total yards. I wonder what the time of uh, possession was. That's eh, almost you know, pretty evened out. So Vic was three for three with the perfect QB rating. Michael Vic with two hundred and twenty-eight rushing yards. It was two thirty-one, but you know, taking three knees at one yard loss. About so basically, he had a, he really had eleven rushing attempts for two hundred and thirty yards. Two hundred and thirty yards on eleven attempts. That's insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we're not even going to send a message to him to try and be like, you know, uh, a D-head. No reason to go on ahead and do that. Uh, he wasn't, you know, disrespectful at all with his messages and whatnot. Uh, believe me, I get some very disrespectful messages because they just see the team and using mommy's credit card and I need to die and get a life. And it's it's insane on the type of messages you get for having a good team. But, um Anyways, man, hopefully you guys enjoy. We're going to take our... These are Season 3 tokens, right? They are. Okay. One game away. We'll uh, bring that game to you guys soon. It's your boy, GSML. We're going to go in and be signing out. Peace.